So to start off, this tutorial, again, it's made for people using the Axiom keyboard in Ableton, but if you're not, don't worry. These tips and tricks are still going to apply to you in some way, shape, or form. I guarantee it. still going to be useful. So um, in this tutorial, I'm going to give instructions on how to program your pressure pads on the Axiom so that it works in Ableton's impulse and the drum rack settings. You know, because by default, it doesn't play the right it doesn't just doesn't work you gotta program it through the key for the um, keyboard itself because with with impulse at least you're not able to change the MIDI mappings on the samples so it won't let you do it and it's real simple okay to program the right pads for impulse you wanna hit data one and then right away hit hit the pad that you're trying to hit let's start with the first one okay so hit data one, hit the first pad, and then as soon as you do that, go to the number pad and type in 60. Then you can hit the second pad, and it'll pop up on the screen with the number again that is programmed to. And you want to hit 62. And you want to go through all the pads like this in a certain fashion. The first one's 60, second one's 62, third one's 64, third one's 65, fourth one's 67, fifth one's 69. Uh, seventh 171 and the eighth 172 so once you have those numbers it'll play the right sounds when you hit the keys when you hit the pads so that's real cool okay but next I'm going to talk about uh, Ableton's drum rack because drum racks a lot better program it allows you to have more than the eight sounds not only that but it allows you to put individual effects on each of the sounds so it's definitely something that it's better to use but the only problem is you have these eight pads programmed right but you want to shift up to the next bank of sounds so you can control more than that because it has 16 sounds by default and like uh, pretty much unlimited um, so you want to be able to shift through the different sets so you can control all of them with your pressure pads right so I'm going to show you a trick on how to do that and this trick is going to involve the same programs that we used in the last tutorial, which is MIDI Yoke and uh, MIDI Translator. So if you didn't watch the last tutorial, you're going to have to watch that to learn how to set those up and how to install it because there's a couple tricks involved. So here's the link up on screen for that last video. Watch that first and then come back here. Okay, the the second, well, the, what we got to do now, we're going to deal in with... Uh, the drum rack okay and the drum rack the the MIDI inputs are assignable but you don't really want to mess with that okay so we want to use the regular MIDI setting so if you're switching to to drum rack you're gonna wanna go through it again and uh, these are different settings you gotta do the same thing you gotta do data one hit the pad then for the number for the first pad you want to type in uh, 36 and then the second one's 37 third one's 38 fourth one's 39 it just goes up um, one number at a time for all of the the drum rack settings it's a little simpler than the impulse okay so you have all of those programmed now it ha it, but it's only working for the first eight sounds in your drum rack we want to be able to bank up and do the next eight sounds and then bank up again do the next eight. it's gonna take a little bit of work here but once you do it it's real simple to switch it's, it's just this hack with this MIDI translator program that's running through the MIDI yoke okay so I already have my preset here that that shows you how to do the control Z and the the overdub hacks now we're gonna start a new preset I'm gonna name it bank one now hit add. Let's name this one because it's the first pad. Now for the incoming trigger, all you gotta do is hit capture MIDI and hit the pad. Hit apply. Well for, no now we want to go to the outgoing. For the outgoing we gotta go back into Ableton and this C down here so I'll keep my finger on the note just find out which note it is on your keyboard that's playing the sound 
go back into the program hit for the select the outgoing action type hit MIDI message again hit capture MIDI hit the button there we go now we're set up oh wait I didn't want to do that one I wanted to do the one up from that oops <laughs> okay then I just do that again so for that outgoing duh why are you guys telling me I was doing it wrong okay we, we want it to play this sound so it's that middle note here go back in capture MIDI now we're set up and let's start a new one here let's start off with the oops add to edit for the outgoing MIDI message again I'm, I did that just because I had my finger right next to it so I can remember. Now go back to the incoming. Now hit that, that second pad. Hit capture MIDI. Hit the second pad. Hit apply. Now I should have those first two mapped. So that's that. Then. Yep. Now that those two are mapped to the next set up. Now we just got to go back through incrementally. And if you go back and look at these, that one's 96 to C. And this one's 96 to D. So let's guess the third one is going to be, let's do add. Let's check the incoming. Edit. Wait, no. New. Three. This one's going to be 26 for the incoming. And what's that? What's that? 96 to E for the outgoing. MIDI message to E. Let's see if that worked. Yep, that one worked. Okay, so you just got to go through all eight of them like that. And then you'll have it all saved into a bank. So all you have to do to switch this bank on is double. So say you're running your program. Now I'm have the the first eight going you double click onto here hit bank one now it's your different bank of sounds and then if you want this if you want more than 16 sounds in your drum kit just add another one name it bank two and do the same process now you, you're able to switch to all your banks in your drum rack real easy there you go so I'm just making this video because it took me a while to figure this stuff out, but now i got to figure it out. It's real simple. So I'll see you soon probably with some more tutorials.